Hi D Ho YouTube Major Cord here. Today is gonna to be my gigantic EDC update extravaganza because I haven't done one in a while. And I know people for some reason really love watching these. I do enjoy watching them just so I could, you know, see what other people are doing and maybe improve my system a bit. Um, and it's been a long time since I've done one. So this is gonna be probably a long video and I have everything I'm gonna talk about laid out in front of me so hopefully I don't forget to talk about it. Um, what hasn't changed, my wallet and my comb, those go in my right front pocket regardless of what type of pants I'm wearing. Um, in fact, I've always kept them there since I've started carrying a wallet and comb. Um, so these I'm just going to throw off into the abyss um, and not worry about them. Um, what else hasn't changed? This good old uh, first aid kit from County Com sits in my left ass pocket there. Um, it's actually about time that I change this out, or at least change out the contents, because I had to use one of the band-aids from the other day, and the adhesive just didn't stick. And that probably has to do with the fact that I've sat on it for so long that it's just, you know, a bit of sweat has probably just got in there and, you know, probably compromised some of the components. So it's probably time to change this out. But um, overall, it's held up pretty well. Um, what else hasn't changed? My Armatron wristwatch... I wear it on my left wrist, and I'm kind of almost developing a watch tan, maybe. Um, more likely not, however, I am managing to rub off a lot of the hair on my wrist. Um, it's because I have hairy arms. But I've had this for a year now. I love it. Um, it tells time and the date, which for me is just important because I always forget the day. Um, day of the week and the date. But yeah, it's a good watch. I'm not sure how much... It costs because my friend got it for me as a birthday present. Um, keys. The keys have changed a bit. Um, I think since the last update, I threw on this gym pass, this paracord fob from Man's Gear. And I also changed out this tool um, from a normal Victorinox Classic to a Victorinox Rambler, which has all of the same tools except this little combo tool here, which is a bottle opener, wire stripper, and... Um, little flathead screwdriver. Not flathead, Phillips. Um, which has come in handy. I've already used this to assemble a pellet trap, and it's just really nice to have. But the tools are in a slightly different order. You have that combo tool combined with um, the knife blade on this side, and then on the other side you have the nail file and the skizzers. So it's nice. I picked this up off of eBay for, I don't know, maybe seven bucks used. And um, it's missing the toothpick just because um, the little, probably the uh, detent that holds it on the inside of the scale is a little worn down, but I don't care. I don't use the toothpick anyway, so I don't miss it. But yeah, other than that, my keys are the same. Um, in about a month, I'll be adding a set of dorm keys to them, but I doubt they're going to change much. So that's about how much those have morphed in the two or three months since you've last seen them. Of course, you've seen them other times, but I haven't really talked about them much. Um, what else? So, those get clipped to my belt. Um, on my right wrist, I have recently begun wearing paracord bracelets. Um, and I don't wear these for the, you know, survival aspect of them. I wouldn't really know how to use the survival cord in this if I, if I needed to. However, I just think they're cool looking um, and you know I just kind of enjoy wearing them they're kind of man jewelry I guess since I don't wear rings or necklaces or anything like that um, I think they're cool and all of these are made by man's gear um, you know I've shouted him out a couple times on my channel and I think he's an awesome guy um, this one was the first one I had him make me it's worn in very nicely um, I forget the colors exactly I think it's silver and colonial blue or something like that and these two have a bit more of a meaning. Um, purple and white were the colors of my high school, so I figured I'd wear something along those lines. And then navy blue and goldenrod, of course, are the colors of the Buffalo Sabres, so I can't not support my home team there. Um, and actually, I think these colors are very close to the um, colors of the college I'll be attending this year, so I kind of lucked out there. But, yeah, paracord bracelets. I think this is just the standard Cobra weave but they're not too bulky, and they are quite comfortable to wear once they break in. But yeah, so 
I have been wearing these, and I find that these colors at least go along with most of my outfits. Not that I give two shits about coordinating my colors. I'm quite blatantly Polish in my attire, if you were to see me um, just walking down the street. Um, what else? Uh, let's see. Okay. So, it's summer. I wear cargo shorts most of the time, which means I have extra pockets. However, I hate filling the leg pockets with shit. So, in my right leg pocket, most of the time you'll only ever find me with my Zebra F701 pen and this uh, money clip full of singles, although right now it's pretty empty. Um, and the clip full of singles I keep for tipping at restaurants and stuff like that, that way I don't have to break a larger bill. And it's convenient because at my job I get tipped in singles most of the time, so it's a good way to keep track of them. And it's just always nice to have a pen. Um, the 701 I've been rocking for, what, close to eight months now, and I'm still on the same insert um, that I originally bought it with. Um, it's about time for it to be replaced because I think it is mostly empty. Let's see. Pretty sure it's almost empty. I might get a... Yeah, there you go. I might get a space pen insert to uh, replace it before the school year starts, but at this point it's still writing, so I'm really under no pressure to replace it. But two implements that serve me well. I think this is just a generic stainless steel money clip that I picked up off of Amazon for like five bucks. Um, I don't care if it gets scratched, dented, dinged, or otherwise. And since these two implements are stainless steel, they can rub together in my pocket all day. I don't care how scratched or whatever they get. Um, although generally, since this is clipped high in the pocket and this rides lower in the pocket, they never touch, so they don't make any noise. Um, in that same pocket, sometimes I will carry my mace pepper guard. And when that happens, I'll move everything else out of that pocket just so nothing gets in here and tips off the trigger. Um, because I'm still paranoid that something is going to get in there and touch this off. But I haven't carried this a whole ton. You know, there have been some instances when I've gone out that I felt that I needed this like I was going into the city or just into a, you know, rougher area. And it was just nice to have because I don't carry blades for self-defense. Um, just because I don't feel I'm qualified to and I'm not ready to deal with the, all the, you know, shit that you can get into, um when you carry a bladed weapon. So, pepper spray it is for me. But, you know, this is a very small and light package, so it fits fine in a cargo pocket. And if I have more than, um, you know, one pocket on my right side, or if it's a segmented pocket, then it'll go in its own little pocket. But I can just empty out that right pocket without much of a, an issue. Um, on my left side, I've been carrying the Terralux Lightstar 100 flashlight. It's a very good um, single AA cell light. Starts off at 100 lumens, drops down to 50, and then goes to a strobe. Um, and right now I have in it a Sanyo Enelope rechargeable battery that really lasts quite a long time. Um, I was finding that with a standard like Duracell AA or Energizer or just any regular alkaline, the output would drop off rather fast, and it would go down to maybe 70 lumens on high and something like 30 on, excuse me, on the low. And I had no idea why, but so far with this and a loop, it's been in here for probably a month or two. Um, I haven't noticed any drop in output, and I've used this quite a bit. So I'm very impressed with it, um, both the light and the battery itself. And as you can see, you know, it's starting to get somewhere around the edges. The finish isn't terribly impervious, but it is a very um, high-quality flashlight. So, I've been very impressed by that. And in the same pocket, um, since I have ridiculously dry skin thanks to working with um, a shit ton of nasty chemicals at work, I've taken to carrying some, you know, just a little teeny bottle of hand lotion. Um, I have no particular brand, it's generally whatever I can find at um, the dollar bins at Walmart or Target. This month it happens to be Jurgens, you know, before I've used Lubriderm or just whatever they have. Um, but yeah, so it's always good to carry lotion, especially in the summer when it's not only more humid um, and I'm prone to chapping, but also because I work with chemicals over the summer. So this is always good to have, and that goes in the flashlight pocket, which is the left 
cargo pocket. And the two of these together, they don't swing very much, so um, both of my cargo pockets are very lightweight and don't uh, swing back and forth. Um, now in my right or left hip pocket, of course, this pink atrocity for cleaning my glasses is always there. And what used to be there was this LG Envy Touch, which, you know, I got two years ago, so it's on the end of its two-year life cycle for the contract. And as you can see, the screen protector is starting to peel off. Um, buttons are old and faded. Time for an upgrade. An upgrade I did um, to this wonderful iPhone 4S. Um, and I know the iPhone 5 is going to come out in a couple months, but since I'm going off to college, I wanted to have a newer phone with me, internet capable, and just um, be there and ready for it. So I actually got this in the mail today, so I've just been acclimating myself to it and getting used to it. And my father um, actually sent me a picture, actually a video, of the floor that him and my mother are picking out for our kitchen. So let's watch that. Isn't it hideous? Yeah. Um, but I'm loving this phone so far. So I have it in an OtterBox commuter case. I was considering the Defender, but honestly, this is all the protection I think I'm going to need. Um, before I go to bed tonight, I'm going to apply the Armor Suit Screen Protector that I purchased for it, which is essentially like a Zag screen protector, but a little cheaper. So I wasn't in the mood to spend 25 bucks, which is actually more than this case cost for a screen protector. So I think the armor suit for front and back and side protectors was like 12, which I think is a good value. But still got to do that. But otherwise, the, um, the phone itself is very nice. Um, I mean, you guys have seen iPhones before I got the apps I've recently downloaded, this Dictation app, um, which I think is really cool. <clears throat> it's kind of like Siri, but it doesn't talk back to you. And it, it recognizes stuff a lot faster. Like I could, um, let's see. This is a test. It really um, dictates stuff very fast, and then it allows you to, you know, share it to wherever you want to send it to. But have all my apps on there, and since I'm a very anal person, I have it organized via, you know, media, news, and productivity, games, all that crap. But, yeah. Um, I was very concerned that actually going over from my iPod, my um, lock screen wouldn't transfer. And this is actually a picture of the Church of the Holy Trinity, where I performed as uh, a senior in high school. So I definitely wanted to keep this, because I don't have that picture anymore, I don't think. So I'm glad that stayed. But that's just crap you guys didn't need to know. I'm still kind of giddy over this new piece of techno crap. Um, but yeah, that is my new phone. So expect um, probably some videos from it, actually, because it's, you know, has that 8 megapixel camera. So that'll be in my pocket all the time. Um, so I can do video blogs, random videos, basically whatever the hell I want, um, which will be nice. And now onto the thing that basically everyone watches these videos for, my knife selection. A um, couple months ago, I was alternating between the system of carrying a smaller pocket tool with a larger pocket knife, you know, something like this Spyderco Manix Lightweight, um, which is what I've been doing for basically the past two years. And, you know, that's good. It worked for me. But then... I figured I'd change it up a bit. Um, I wanted to get a smaller pocket tool, um, something other than maybe a Victorinox or a Scout Knife, something like that. So I picked up this Gerber Dime, which I was loving, um, and I still do. Um, you know, it's kind of like a Leatherman Squirt, something like that. Um, has your pliers. Um, what other tools can I pull out of here? Knife blade, package opener scissors, um, and a couple drivers on that side, as well as a bottle opener, which is permanently um, out. So if you like your brews, this is the tool for you. But, you know, this is a, an awesome tool, and I'm sure I'll end up carrying it again, but currently I do not. For a while, I was rocking this combo, um, and then I decided to go old school for a while, and I picked up this Queen Cutlery, I think it's a number 51 trapper. 
in 1095 steel. As you can see, since it's carbon steel, um, it took a patina. Used to be pretty shiny, and now it's, um, you know, picked up that coloration. Which is kind of cool, I think. Shows its wear. And this is a good knife for 20 bucks. Um, doesn't hold an edge particularly well. I'm going to say that. It's questionable at best, and I had to reprofile it on my Lansky system and then strop it a good deal to get a good workable edge. Um, at least an edge that I could live with. I mean, it came sharp, but it wasn't an edge that I think would last. And even with that, the steel does dull quickly. But for simple tasks, it's fine. Um, it's just not something that I could foresee myself carrying on a long-term basis, um, just because I'd have to maintain it virtually every day. But I still do love this knife, just because of how beautiful it is. So, I alternated, you know, these two in my pockets for a while. And recently, I moved on to this, uh, the Victorinox Compact, which you've seen in a couple other videos recently, but of course I'm going to talk about it here, because that's what this video is for. Um, and you'll notice something is different about this. It came with black scales, and because I love blue knives, I had to buy a set of blue scales for it. Um, but these, this pair of blue plus scales, I think, cost me 10 bucks off of eBay. I think it's worth the investment, just because it looks so much cooler now. It's a personalized touch. It's, I mean, so much nicer looking than these, you know, stupid black scales. Um, this knife screams major chord right now. So, but yeah, this Victorinox is the standard 91 millimeter um, Swiss Army knife. You have your pen blade, a wonderful pair of scissors. These are comfortable to use and they can handle a lot of tasks. Um, your combo tool, which opens bottles like a boss. Cans, not so much because it's not your standard um, sweeping can opener like you have on most Victorinox knives. It's just a pressure point can opener. At least that's what I call it. I'm not sure what the technical term is, um, but you're just, you know, stabbing into a can with it. So it's, it doesn't open cans extraordinarily well. Um, this is more like a last resort type of can opener, but it's there if you really need it. And it has a half stop, um, which if you want to use this as a screwdriver tip, is good. So you have, what, one, two, technically three, four tools on this. So it's a good combo tool, I'd say. And then on the back, you have your match striker, along with your stupid hook thing. Um, it's supposed to be used for uh, catching, like, twine if you're carrying a parcel. But, I mean, I don't carry newspapers. I don't carry packages laced in twine, or any type of straps for that matter. So I really don't see a, a use for this. Apparently, this is supposed to be an orange peeler. So I will have to test that. Maybe that'll come in handy. Because I hate peeling oranges with a knife. Um, I will grab a dedicated orange peeler for that. Um, but otherwise, I can't foresee myself using this tool very much. And then your corkscrew with... Oops, dropped on the ground. Good job, Major Cord. Uh, assuming you don't drop it. Your very, 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 very tiny eyeglass screwdriver which you can either use standalone or screw back into here and um, use like so. You know, kind of like that. So, it's a very fleshed out tool. Um, it has a lot of things like missing that you would think were missing from a standard Victorinox, like you know, you'd think you'd miss the can opener with the smaller flathead um, or Phillips driver. You'd think you'd miss the Phillips driver. And, you know, maybe you'd miss a saw or you'd miss an awl. I actually do miss an awl. I'd rather they put an awl here instead of this stupid hook. Um, you'd think you'd miss a nail file. But then again, there's a nail file on this. Oops, don't need that. There's a, a nail file on this. Um, where is it? Right here on my Rambler here. So, I always have a nail file. So I really don't need one on my larger tool. But it is fully equipped with the normal scale tools. You have your tweezers, your toothpick, and a pen. 
which I think is a nifty little feature. Um, it doesn't obviously write like a full featured pen, but if you need a pen in a pinch, that's some nifty alliteration, um, you have one. So this is a tool that I have enjoyed carrying. I love it to death. Um, it's been my only EDC knife for the past two weeks. I haven't carried anything else. I haven't carried this Gerber dime. I haven't carried um, this Mannix. I haven't carried anything in addition to this. It's been my multi-tool, my knife, um, and it will basically continue to be that way. Um, I highly doubt that I'll be changing this up for much. Um, even when I go to college, this will probably remain my sole EDC knife. I mean, there'll, there'll be a couple days, you know, like recently, I see, I think sometime last week I carried my Endura just because I could, but I have found for me what I think is probably the ideal EDC knife for most days. Like mo most of the time, I don't need anything more than, good job, cut off your, your, um, background here. Anyway, most of the time, I don't need anything more than this, what is it, two and a half, three inch blade. You know, and I very rarely need a locking knife. I mean, this um, spring here in the slip joint is very strong. And I'm not a dumbass with my knives, so, you know, it's not going to close on my hands. And, of course, I say I'm not a dumbass after I nearly take a slice out of my background. But it's a very well-built tool. It has most of the tools that I need on a daily basis. Um... And I just see no reason to replace it. I have a feeling that once um, school hits and I wear jeans again, I might pair these two up. Even though there's a lot of redundancy, this has pliers. And pliers are always something I like to have. Um, so I might end up putting this in the fifth pocket of my jeans when I go out. When I have my school bag, I have the, um, what's it called? The Gerber suspension, the mini suspension, in my school bag. So I will not need to carry this. However, if I go out and, you know, it takes up next to no room, I don't put anything in my coin pocket anyway, I might slip this in there. But I don't know. Um, that's in the future. It has yet to be seen. So I can't really comment on that. But this uh, Victorinox Compact has basically become my little buddy. You know, as corny as that sounds, this guy, I've fallen in love with it, and it's not leaving my pocket anytime soon unless something better comes along. So, I think that just about completes this EDC update. Thank you guys for sticking with it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be like a 20 minute or longer video, so I apologize for that. But thank you for watching. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.